Hi guys, welcome back. I've got a nice short and sweet routine for you today with the top five inner thigh exercises at the bar. So if you are ready to get a nice burn in those inner thighs, go ahead and grab a chair or something for a bit of balance. That is all you will need. We'll be standing for the full workout. So get ready to feel a burn. Okay, before we get into those top five inner thigh moves, we'll do a little bit of a warm up here just to make sure the hips are ready to roll, ready to play. So standing nice and tall here. Just start on one leg, you're just going to draw a big hip circle. Um, yeah, we can go all the way around. Let's just go all the way around here. So just to the outside, keeping back nice and long so all of the motion is just in that hip. Going as big as you can while still keeping hip bones Point it forward and reverse. We'll just do this on both sides. So these inner thigh exercises at the bar do tend to be a little bit hippy because we are working mostly in a turnout. Mostly entirely in a turnout, in fact. So we want to make sure that the hips are nice and warm, ready to play. Go ahead, release, switch legs. So just big circles to the outside, keeping navel tight. Thinking of stretching nice and long through the torso. So this will be a nice short routine, um, but you should definitely feel it. Reverse that circle. It's a targeted one. So we're getting ready for short season in the distant, <laughs> the distant future. Oh hi Luna. Luna's ready to do it too. And last one there, go ahead, bring it down. Take the feet nice and wide, toes just pointing forward. So we'll do feet parallel to start. Just take a little lunge, one side over to the other, feeling that nice stretch through the inner thigh. Make sure that the butt is pushing back, you're sitting back into it, so that heels both stay down and you're not putting a lot of stress on the knee. One more to either side there. And then turn the toes out, same thing. So just with that turn out there. Uh, if you hear some chaos in the background, that's Luna playing with, actually I'm not sure what she's playing with. Either a pen or a, it's a stick. They have like a little sachet of sticks that are like apparently for cats and they go nuts for them. So she's going nuts over a stick right now. Hopefully she'll quiet down. One more on either side here. Here she comes. And come back through center. And then from there, still keeping feet nice and wide, just go ahead, sink down low. Twist one side, really focus on pushing that leg back away from you. And now she's playing with a jingly feather toy. I swear, she just waited, switched sides for me to start filming and was like, let's play with all of the things. That was apparently her strategy today. And then come back through center and go ahead, bring it back up. Step the feet together. I mean, you guys haven't seen the cats in a few videos, so Luna's like making her big return, apparently. All right, so have your chair at the ready here. I'm just gonna pull mine in a little closer because we're going to use this for everything. So first one here. Each of these moves we're going to do for a minute. Now, I was a little bit like, Mm, I was a little bit liberal in my use of like five inner thigh moves. Some of them I've actually grouped like two things together as one. You'll see. You'll see as we go on. So it's going to be one minute plus maybe a second minute or something. But it's going to be nice and short overall. We've got this. Um, to start things off, I'm going to go ahead and start at my timer. You're going to be in a first position. Pop the heels up. Sit nice and low. And we're just going to pulse it here. So keeping the butt tucked, you could do this facing your chair as well. Obviously, I just didn't want to have a chair in front of me. I'll turn to the side though, just to give you that angle as well. Just low pulsing, make sure that you are not here. Not the same thing, you're not gonna feel those inner thighs there. So keep the butt tucked under, knees are pressing nice and wide. So if you were looking like from the side, if you had a mirror to your side, for example, you would want to have like the flattest line <laughs> you could the flattest like straightest tallest 
Just straight up and down. We're almost there, a little bit more. Now Luna's going crazy back there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. She was like calm and sleeping and then I turned on the camera and it was all of a sudden crazy time. Here's three, two, one. Okay, you're gonna stay down here. This is move number two. You're gonna press knees back and back. So just in that first position, plie, little knee press. So the knees coming forward, that's not that important. Like they don't really need to come that far forward. It's just a release. The important bit is that press back. So on that press back, you are pressing as wide as you possibly can. Now here's a fun bonus of all of this. It's sometimes actually a little bit difficult to work just the inner thighs without also getting the outer thighs. So sometimes they're going to be helping out a bit. So yeah, we're getting a little bit outer thighs as well, even though the focus here is the inner thighs. That's just a little bonus. So keep pressing back, squeeze, really opening, getting those hips open. That's why we started with opening them up. Here's three, two, one. Bring it up, heels down. Still in that first position, outside leg. You're gonna reach forward, inner thigh to the ceiling. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. So just straight lifts there. So the things I want you to focus on here, I say this in a lot of my bar routines. First of all, the position. So make sure you're not leaning, yeehaw, back and away. Press the chest forward so that you're engaging the abs. Keep the turn out. So inner thigh to the ceiling, kneecap is going to be opening out to the side. Hips are on the same level. If you've got those things, so if we've got the length, we've got the position in the torso, we've got the turnout, then you can go for a little bit of height additionally, but the height is not the focus of this. So I don't want you just like, wee, kicking it up, leaning back as you kick it up. I want you to keep this really controlled focus on that turnout. If you're not turned out, if you're just straight up and down here, you're gonna be in the quad, whoop de doo Keep this next one up and pulse it. So, this is still just move number three. This is where I cheated a little bit. I was like, we'll just group a couple things together. It's the same move, it's just a pulse. It's just the fine toning portion of this. You could also do this entire routine without a chair for balance. Um, yeah, you know, be my guest. I will say, when I'm doing like a leg specific workout, I do like to have something as a little bit of a balance assist, just because then I can really focus on the legs. I don't have to worry about like all the other little things, like just staying standing. So I can really like dig into what I want to get into. A little bit more here. So again, focus on that turnout more than the height. Turnout and length, height comes after those. It's not to say that you shouldn't go for it. It's just to say, make sure you've got those other things down first. Last one there. All right, you're gonna wrap it back in. So touch the toes. Basically, just kind of level the knee of the standing leg, open up, extend. So we're moving both from the hip as well as the knee because we're wrapping back, bring it forward, extend. That extension still has a turnout. So again, just check, make sure that you have that turnout consistent every time. Should be feeling a nice little burn in that inner thigh, building a little bit of heat there. I like these nice simple ones. So if you don't have a lot of time, but you're like, oh my God, suddenly the weather report says maybe I can like bare my legs soon. It does not say that in Madrid <laughs> yet, but maybe you're somewhere where, uh, where you can. No, we're getting there. Usually, I think I've said this before, there are a couple like teaser days in the winter. So I think like this weekend, Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Keep it long here, I cheated again. Still move number four, baby bend, extend, keep pulsing. So ideally, if you have like a mirror or something in front of you, you'll check to make sure your hips are on the same level because what might happen is that meh, you get the sad tilt. Don't go for that sad tilt. If you want a little extra challenge here, you can do a little bit of a lift up every time you extend. So it's a full extension. Sometimes I see people just like here, nee, 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 shaking out the knee. No, it's a tiny softening, full extension still each time. Are you feeling that burn now? 
I hope so. So make sure you're squeezing nice and tight. You're supporting glute, lifting up out of it, staying strong there. Core is engaged always. That's just part of these bar routines. So even though this is a leg focused routine, core is engaged. Give me four, three, two, one, release. Okay, I'm just gonna switch this to the other side and we are straight into those lifts here. So exhale up, inhale down. Straight leg, inner thigh to the ceiling. And would you believe it? I started with my non-dominant. This feels like such a walk in the park now. I'm like, yay, <laughs> this turnout feels so much more natural. You probably will have a slightly bigger turnout on one side. So for me, my dominant side, my right side has a bigger turnout. Hi, Lena. Welcome back. Here's Lena. <laughs> Here's what she's been up to just while I'm like walking around. Well, and also, Luna's been like big outdoor energy because it's like a little bit warmer now. Um, and we can just leave our patio door open because the walls are high so the cats can't escape anywhere. So Luna has been napping outside a lot. Keep it up and pulse it here. All of the outside naps, she's a big fan. So again, just touch base here. Navel pulled in tight, shoulders are even, they're pulled down and back. Slight little baby tilt forward so that you're not yee-hawing back. So you'll feel the difference. When you press into it, that's when you'll feel those lower abs like kick in. They're like, oh yeah, we gotta do it too. We're doing it too. Keep pulsing there. These pulses, to be fair, I don't think are that bad. It's a little like micro bend extend that sometimes does me in. Maybe just because it's at the end of this series. That's one theory. But yeah, I also do find them just a little bit more intense. Keep pulsing here. Keep that turn out strong. We can do it. Here's three, two, one. Bring it in, wrap back. Extend, wrap back, extend. So again, this is still just, um, or no, this is move number four. We're starting move number four now on the second side. Still just move number four. We just switched sides. So our last move is coming up next after the pulses of these after I cheated and tucked in a couple extra ones and still just called it five. Nice long leg there. So again, full extension. We're never snapping the knee. It's a really controlled extension and controlled release as well. Keep it going. So yeah, you should really feel the abs on everything. Anytime you're doing a bar workout, you should feel the abs engaged throughout. Last one here, here it is. No baby bend extend, full extension each time. Yeah, sometimes when I say baby bend extend, they think the baby applies to the extension as well. No, the extension is full and powerful. It's just a little softening of the knee. And again, if you wanna do like a little lift up on each of those as well, you can. Make sure you're not like leaning into your bar. It's there for balance. You could like go no hands. You shouldn't feel like a dramatic Shouldn't feel any shift in weight. Keep it going there. Yeah, these are the ones that kind of kill me a little bit. But like I said, we have one more move after this. That'll be our little victory move. And honestly, it's not a bad one. It's not a bad one at all. I was like, I think we'll give a nice little finale here. But hopefully, yeah, in this short, like 10 minute routine, um, you will definitely feel some inner thighs. So you can combine this with one of my other ones. Last one there, release. I'm gonna get that totally off to the side because we're gonna take a wide second position, stay low, pulse it here. So butt is tucking under, knees are tracking wide. Check to make sure that the knees are going over the toes. So we don't ever want the knees to like eh, drop forward. Not happy times for the joints. Push down, down, down down. So nice strong push here. Victory lap. Squeeze the butt as well. So again, this is one of those ones where, hey, 
bonus, we're getting a little bit of the outer thighs and glutes. Why? Just because we can. Why not? Why not? You can do that arm out to the side if you want. I'm just, you know, I'm feeling lazy today. I'm like, whatever. This is a leg workout. <laughs> so I'm letting my arms relax. Few more seconds here. Here's four, three, two, one. Woo! Press all the way up. Give the hips a little shake out. You can turn the toes forward. Just take a nice little ha ah, forward fold there. Again, just let the hips shake out a little bit. We'll just do a quick stretch here. So turn one foot out, walk over to that side, frame the foot. We'll take a triangle. So hand to the ankle or shin, peel arm up. Luna, you're back. What's new? What's new? What's good? And release. Go ahead, turn that foot forward, come through center, over to the other side. So we're not doing a huge long stretch here. If this is like the only workout you're doing today, um, or if this is the last workout you're doing today, um, you could do add on a stretch routine. I would do a little bit more stretching. Um, but because this is a shorter routine, it's sort of designed to be paired with something else. So yeah, check out one of my other bar routines if you want some more bar. Heel to the feet back into hip distance and we'll slowly roll back up to standing. I hope you guys enjoyed that nice, short, sweet inner thigh routine. Hopefully inner thighs are burning. If you like that one, of course, hit that like button down below. If you want to see more of the shorter bar workouts, longer bar workouts, all the bar workouts, Pilates in there as well, um, then of course hit that subscribe button. And if you have anything specific that you would like to see in the future, let me know in the comments. I will see you guys back here in the next one. Bye.